In this video, we're going to take a look at polls and the poll pod inside of an Adobe Connect meeting. Polls are a great way of capturing feedback from your participants, as well as providing that interactivity that you should be doing every five to seven minutes. In this case, I'm looking at the poll from the perspective of a participant, Spiro Agnew, who's in this meeting. He's just being asked a simple question. It is a multiple choice question. So in other words, he can only answer with a single answer. I can choose one color, but I can't choose multiple colors in this case. So it's a relatively straightforward pod from the participant's perspective, but let's take a look at how this works from a host or presenter's perspective. I'm gonna move over to my host view, and you can see that as a host, there's a lot more information available to me. I can also answer the question as a host. I'm gonna go ahead and answer blue as well. Spiro and I are thinking alike in this case. Um, I can see the results of the poll. So in this case that I can see that 100% of the participants have answered blue uh, as their favorite color. And I can see that both as a percentage as well as a number to see how many people have answered what. And I can change the view of that, by the way, by going into the pod options for this poll and choosing the results format. And that shows up as either percentage, numbers, or both, which is how we're displaying it now. This is only showing up in this case for the hosts and presenters in the meeting though. If I go back to what Spiro is seeing, he is not seeing how people have answered this. If I want to share the results with the participants in the meeting room, I can do that by clicking on the broadcast results checkbox and that will share those results with the participant. Let's go back and see Spiro's view of the world and he can now see both the percentage and the number of people that have voted because that's how we've chosen to display the results. There are a few more options that I've got though as the host of a meeting. For example, I've got a button here called View Votes and this button allows me to see how people have voted. So it shows me all of the attendees that have uh, used the poll pod and how they've answered. If I go back to the poll, you'll notice I've also got the ability to edit the poll question and end the poll. And once I click End Poll, the poll now closes for voting. So what Spiro sees is that the poll is closed. He still sees a very faded view of the poll pod, but he's no longer able to interact with it. To add a poll, you can simply go up to the pods menu, click down to the poll section and click on add a new poll. You'll notice that all of the previous polls I've used in this meeting room are still available for me. That means that you can create your polls ahead of time. These persist just like every bit of content in an Adobe Connect meeting room. So if it's a poll I've used in previous meetings, I've got that available. If it's a poll that's new to me but I want to create it a day or a week ahead of time, I'm able to do that. In this case, I'm going to add a brand new poll. And let's make this a little bigger. I'm going to move this uh, first poll up and resize it a bit because I'm sharing my screen at a fairly low resolution. And we'll add this new poll pod. So there are three different question types I've got available to me. I can create a multiple choice question, uh, and that's exactly what we were looking at before. It's a series of radio buttons that I can select. I can choose a question where someone can answer more than a single answer. So it's a multiple answers question. And I can also create a short answer question where somebody simply types in the answer that we're looking for. Let's go ahead and create a multiple answers question. So in this case, I'll ask what uh, operating systems do you use? Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, Android, Windows Phone, and Blackberry. And we'll stick with those for now. Uh, I'm going to click on open to open this poll up and you'll notice now instead of radio buttons I've got checkboxes and Spiro over here on the participants view has got the same thing so he can select for example multiple checkboxes. So we've got the ability to view the votes in real time but what if we want to view this after our meeting has ended? How do we see the results of a poll that we ran during one of our meetings? To do that I need to access the meeting information reports. And we can do that by going up to the meeting menu and clicking on manage meeting information. That's going to open up our meeting information in a browser window. And from here, I can click on the reports link to go over to view the reports for all of the different meeting sessions I've held inside of this meeting. And you can see here, I've actually got six unique sessions. So I've used this meeting room at least six times. 
Uh, and if I want to see the polls for one of those sessions, I can click on the Buy Questions link, and that'll take me to all of the different polls that I've used. And you can see here's the last one, the What is your favorite color? I can view the answer distribution to see how people have responded. Uh, in this case, it's 100% blue, uh, which is number two. That maps to the orange color in here. Uh, and if I click on back, I can also see this by the user responses. So I can see how Spiro answered the question as well as how I answered the question. But we actually had a second question during our poll meeting. If you look back in the Connect Room, there was a second poll that doesn't seem to be showing up in our reports. And that's because the poll is still open. We need to end the poll before it will appear in our report. So let me go ahead and do that now. I'm going to click on End Poll. Uh, you'll notice I can reopen it now that it's been closed. I can reopen it at any time. Uh, and now let's go back to the reports that we had open. I'll click on that Reports button again just to reload it and buy questions. And now you're seeing that what operating system uh, or what operating systems do you use? And I can go and view user responses and I see that Spiro selected both one and three as an answer. So that's how we can access those reports after our meeting has ended. One other feature that I want to point out inside of the meeting itself is the ability not only to reopen the poll. If I click reopen right now, everybody's data is saved. But obviously, if I'm using this same poll in a brand new meeting, I want to clear out the answers. And to do that, I can go up to the pod options menu and select clear all answers. And that will clear out the answers and uh, this poll will be ready for a brand new meeting session with new participants. That's a look at the poll pod inside of Adobe Connect.